we're in VR mode just started this new game I want to I started in a real good area and I got this ship right here it was a s3712 so put a little bit of stuff in it I cheated though duplicated got some stuffs this is a um, this is a prosperous Viking so let's see I started here I went here picked up my train manipulator but I really haven't explored that planet I'm gonna go back to this one and uh, see what I can get but check out this bugger right here. Oh no, not that one. This bugger. Um, this one. Um, I don't like this one. See these, these sides? If you're in this cockpit, these sides stick up so high you can't see over them when you're um, when you're flying it in VR just really sucks hmm let's see here what do we got up here I'm gonna buy me some stuff all the basics yeah I'm gonna get me a few of these five of those I'm gonna give me five of these I can get 10 of these. And I think I'm going to get 10 of these. And these, I want some of this. I want some of this. And I want some of this. Alrighty. So I just came to the space station. I was playing yesterday. When I came up here, I got that ship. And then uh, what I want to do here, there was this, that's a dumb little gun. It's an A, but it's a dumb little gun. See if I can turn it into something good. Okay, what am I looking at here? I'm looking at a scanner module, mining beam, both better. Got those. They have a terrible... Uh, movement module so I found one on the planet a class but they only have a, a C here and they only have the B in the life support so that sucks let me get this I have some of this already and I probably get some of this some of this just to have it okay guys see you later I did get this right here yeah I got, I got some got this shield module Movement module sucks. I get one. You go in life support. Let's see what I got here. Let's see what I can do with this. I found the salvage frigate module. Huh. Okay, this one moves out. This one goes over here. This one goes over here. I put that one there for now until I find some blue. There's you got gold, blue, red, green. Gold, blue, red, green, purple. But I don't have enough room in there right now. It's a smaller ship. <coughs> okay, let's put this in. 
Mm -hmm. So this one I'm going to move out. Oh, not that one. Actually, I'll move it like this. Mm -hmm. mm, pull spitter. Mm, let's see. I'm going to move this down. I'm going to put this in. What is this one? Hmm, that one sucks. Those are the two best. So I got 510. Okay, I'm going to move this one over here, this one over here, this one over here. Nom, 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 nom. Mm -hmm. What is this bugger? They don't have any slots yet. I wonder what this one is. That five percent. I'm gonna move that one down. That's good. See, with this bug I have for sale, I'm getting all this because I can just have a bunch. Got the money. Remember, I already cheated. <laughs> Might as well get it. I don't need that. Hmm, where's all the other ships at? Let's see. Okay. I'm going to move this bugger out. I'm going to put the purple down here for now. Put that one there. Move this one over here. I like to have things in a certain way. Actually, yeah, I'll put this in high capacity. What is this? <coughs> They're not worth very much. They're better be used. But I found this gun. And then I made it in S class. Because I cheated and duplicated a bunch of nanites. I duplicated a bunch of units. I don't have any Quicksilver else. I'd have duplicated those too. <laughs> and that's for you to find me to know and you to find out. I don't condone cheating, but when I'm uh, my original game that I play is I've never cheated in that game. So that's my game. I've never cheated in any of the uh, stuff either in the the challenges they have, all those games. Those games are all up and up. But when I go to another planet, like when I, because like every day I just like to start a new game, go to another planet, go somewhere new. And uh, in the morning, especially when I get off work, I work graveyards. So I start a new game, see what I can find. That's why on my on my channel you you see um, I've been posting like every day every other day when I find something cool I'll just go somewhere where nobody's been usually you try to get a three uh, three star you know any one of those now to see I play it normal but uh, I don't I don't like playing the creative because it's just way it's just too easy. So when I start off, I like to gather all my supplies and uh, do the run, see what's around. And because while I'm doing that, I usually can see the uh, experimental. I mean, not the experimental. The exotic usually flies over me. I didn't see it this time. And you know, sometime. And then I just so I just came to the space station. I'm about an hour into the game, so just wanted to see how the space station reacts. And, you know, somebody might like this ship in 2D. <coughs> I don't know. Let's see what this gentleman's got. Oh, this is the ship. This is the ship that I I think I like. I like this fighter. A29. It's got some pink. It's pink and blue. It's a nice fighter. It's got square engines in the back. But oh well. Let's see what he got for sale. I like the wings. Um, let's see. Off tree. 
I'm gonna take all this, all this, all this, all this, all this, all this. Oops, yeah, I'm in the right area. That's good. Oop. Let's try and get to that guy before he takes off. Nope. Took off already. So I have all the cadmium for my past two, but I haven't got it yet. Mm, so let's go down. I got everything I need from up here. I might just hang out here for a minute. Oh, there's not many ships. Let's see what they are. Oh, I know what that one is. Okay. That's all good. I want to go, let's see, where is my... I have one marked already. Thought I had one marked. What's that planet? No, it's not the planet. It's got to be over here. No. That's the planet I want to go to. That's all I have marked? I could have swore. I marked a dam. Mm, this has got to be the planet over here. I swear I marked a... Uh... So I'd like to go back to the planet. You know what? I think I found all the guns that were over there. No, nope, I haven't been to that planet either. Mm. I like cactus flesh, especially when it's flat in the water. Mm, this planet I've been to? Yeah, this is the one I came from. I'm not going back to that one. Let me see here. Space station right there. Let me just check it out. And see, let me try one more time. See if uh, exotic comes. Cause that's what I'm looking for is the exotic. An exotic and guns. But I did see some nice fighters here, so I want to check those out. Dude, that one blue and blue and pink one, I like that one. I guess we should add round engines in the back. Look at that, right back to the same spot. I'd like to get some dioxide too. Look, there was one in here. There was two in here. So what I just did is what I call a reset. Not a reload, a reset. Go out, um, go outside, fly outside, where all the ships disappear, and then fly back in. It resets the waves. I don't mind flying those ships, I just think they're ridiculous. I like this ship here. But see that cab? That cab, not good. Because it can be crooked. That's my four, I'm out of here. The way I search planets, every planet I go to, I try to find a minor settlement. And I always start with the one furthest to the left. So I try to find a minor settlement and I uh, try to find a down ship. Whether I use a, a tower for that, or I find the ship, like the planet that I just came from, I found two, two down ships on my own, just in my area. So, I really like to start at the bottom of the planet, like right in here. And whenever I hit the planet from the space station, I'm always headed north. So what I do is I slow down, when I'm up up high so I can see stuff <clears throat> and then I turn south do one scan like I'll show you I come right down here so I'm not seeing anything right yet so then I'll just stop and I know it's got big 
mountains now. Do a stop. Look around. See, there's north. That's the way I'm going to go. I always go north. But since I'm right here, I'm in scan radius now, yeah? And I do see something down there. So I'm going to go down there. Check it out. No, you do a scan south first before you go north. If I would have just went north, I'd have missed this. And this is my second pass. So now I'll be able to put my second pass in when I, when I finish this. See, now the, now the scope is up there. What is... Oops. Let's see the scope. Let's see. So I got the scope. Oh, no. I want the scope. It doesn't do anything. That scope doesn't work. For VR, it doesn't work. I don't know. Not working. I got it in there, but I'm hitting the button. But nothing's happening. Oh, well. Come and get me! You guys are too slow. I win. <coughs> Hold your breath. So now I got the pass two. Atlas pass two. These things drive me nuts. Get the Atlas Pass. The scope. I don't understand. I never really play in 2D, so I don't know how the scope works, but scope isn't working for me. Do a scan. Any diamonds? Diamond in the rough. I need me a diamond. I don't see no diamond. Okay, we're out of here. See you when I want to be a. This would be a great spot. I would, if I had like a bolt caster and a room, I would kill that guy and I would get the stuff from those guys. Don't kill that guy because he makes two more. And then just continue on. Da 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 da. And just, I'll just stand right over here by this and just save, save, save every time. Look for a Viking dagger in these. Viking effigy. Give me a Viking dagger for my. Oxycontinental! Another Viking effigy. So when I go somewhere. Oh no. When I go somewhere, I'll give them away. I don't hold on to them, I don't need them. Okay. So we scanned south, we found this. Which was good, which I needed. Now we go north. The mountains aren't as big as what I thought they were. I kind of like these kind of planets. Oh, you know what I want to do though? Before I go away, I want to come down here. <coughs> if you always have something marked, things will pop up on their own. So mark that bugger. So it's marked. So now I got something marked. Let's see. What is that? And I'm looking for. I've even had glyphs um, come up doing this, especially on. Uh, uh, abandoned planets the glyphs pop up over here see that just popped up on its own so it still it says abandoned building but it's got that symbol oh look at all this oh my god that's dogs no that's not dogs but I'll check out this is my minor settlement that I need let's go check out this gun And I'm hooked up right now to where, ooh, oh, I thought those were blue things sticking out, that's a C. So I'm hooked up to where 
This guy is going to ask me for my gun. And I want to keep it until I find a gun that I like. Hey, pink bro. Pink and yellow. Let's just see. Hand over multi-tool. You can keep this going for a while until you find a gun you like. And I don't like that gun. So now instead of reloading, I'm going to quit the mode select. Yes. And you can see, so this, I have two hours. See, this is my main game. That's the one I started. I used to have one that was over 300 hours, but all my shit got depleted. I don't know why. But um, these are all, all the rest of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, are all uh, the ones where I get all the free stuff. The, um, they call them this the community expedition. These are all the exp. I haven't even been in that one since it since it exited. So anyway, so reloading this way is easier on the game. You can do it more times. I don't know why in VR. I don't know in, if in 2D. Um, it's you know I, what I find is I re if I reload too many times, my my screens either go blank on my gun. Or I'll try to get into my ship and the game will freeze. So I'm when if I do that, then uh, and I can do this one more time. So this gun changed to that purple gun, but it's still a C. And then let's do it one more time with him. See what other gun he has. See, this is the gun I have. So this one's got pretty good stuff in it. So if I didn't already have the, the gun I have, I probably would take that. And I've gotten S classes from them too before, so. But yeah, this game right here is the only game I've started on my own. And I have everything in that game. I've only been in there 119 hours. And I go there once a week just to clean stuff up and check stuff out. And then, because my my um, community that I have, I have it at an A class. I'm trying to get it to the S. And I've been through everything in here. I have everything. I've been to like the tenth galaxy. The game I had with over 300 hours, I was I was at my 84th galaxy. So, and I found a way when they switched it to where you didn't have to. Um, go back through the portal once you went through a portal. You know, if you go one, 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 twelve times. You know, uh, what is it? Sunset twelve times. You wind up about three. What is it? Three hundred units from the center of the galaxy. So, so I won't do this again because the guns are the same. Oop, wormage. Lost starships. Give me back those lost starships. Buddy, what's his name? Anyway, there's a worm over here. Yeah, I just picked these up. Let's see what this guy's got. No blueprints. It's a new. Must be. Must already got it. Pick these up all day long, put them right on my ship. I got enough of those, I got enough of that. This one goes in my... So I can collect all the salvage data I want. And uh... Can't get to my ship from here. I haven't found uh... Antimatter yet to uh, put in my ship. This goes in high capacity. And I want to look at that real quick, cause huh? I thought I had more of those. Oh, I got I got ten here. So what I can do is put this in high capacity, and then this can go right here. I can give more space in my so I have ten. I get this up to thirty, then I can duplicate it, or you know, or I usually don't even use them. Go out this way. And then up here, 
as you get some, um, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, condensed carbon, quite a bit too. 37. I got 74. That's pretty good. Mm. And now what I'm, oh, you know what? I'm going to do that later. I can just get it from here. I already have one. These here, I'm not going to use. You can't break them down to anything. You can't sell them. I'm not going to use those for a while. And when I start using them, I'll be able to make them. So I'm not worried about it. There's a lot of phosphorus in these rocks. I got a lot of it already. You know what? I think this is the same planet. This is the same planet. I'm going to go to the space station. Let me see. Yeah, it is the same planet. I just want to check for any unknown buildings or diamond. I need diamond. I know what that building is over there already. I could get that salvage uh, thing, but I'm not going to. I don't want any um, silic silicone yet, unless until I silicate powder, until I. Um, uh, oh, you know what? Wait a second. There was another. I might be able to get an antimatter out of here. No. So I look for those all day long. But what I'm gonna do? Let's see. I'm gonna do. Nah. Eh, screw it. Get in my ship and do it. So this Atlas Pass, well, I just keep getting these, don't I? I'm going to make this Atlas Pass, number two. I don't know why they allow you to make a bunch. You only need one. Okay, I'm good. Continue on north. Like, I don't care about that building. I don't need that. Plus it costs the land there. I'm gonna check out this building over here. Okay, I don't need that. What I need now is dogs. I call them dogs. <laughs> I'm gonna go north. And, uh, what was that? Oh, oh, okay. Flew right over it, didn't even see it. You can miss so much stuff. Oh, drop pod. I'll, I'll land for these all day long. Make sure I got everything. I think I need... I'm gonna move. Uh, no, I'm just gonna build it here. I need one of those. <coughs> I fill up my. At the space station, I always fill that hole up. And then I fill this all the way up. Because I continually put stuff in there. So this can go back over here. I like this up there. This can go over here. I usually fly up here just to get a little higher. Do a search for my diamond. See, this is my planet. There's my grave. Okay. So I came back to the same planet. I hate those. See what we got in here. Dagger. Shoot, I'm getting a lot of those, huh? No, Viking effigy. This can go here. A Viking effigy. I like now that it goes straight into the ship. I got three of them. Hey, little guy. Okay, I've already done this, but I'm going back to the space station. And I got two ships here already, so 
I don't know what I was doing, thinking coming back here. And you can use this. I can use that now to go to my space station because my station, space station is right above there, so. It never fails this thing. This ancient ruin is always, uh, whenever I do one, it seems like it's always close to the space station. And I always use it to just, you know, automatically fly there. Mm, I think things on the other side. There the bug is. Okay, now before I reload, I want to see the ships that come in. And I want to see if I need another... No, I have four already. I can put one of those in, though. I can I can fix this up. I can put one of those. I can put two of those. Let's go see what they got. Since I'm using this ship... Hey, buta buta. So, I always come back down this way. So that's the biggest shield they got. Huh? No more pulse engine. Photon cannon. Mm, pulse engine, that's all we got. One, two, three, one more coming in. I'll put my pulse engine in here. Oh, wrong place, dummy. There's one more spot for a shield. I don't want to use that. Not yet, not until it goes. Oh shoot, look at this bugger. Uh, I don't like those wings. I love the blue. It's got good engines. I don't like these wings. I mean somebody might like this. I don't I don't I love the blue. And I don't even mind the red, I just don't like the wings. The wings kinda suck. There's always this chip right there. I, I like flying those in VR. Sometimes it's just hard to see past the nose. Okay, I gotta reload. So I'm gonna save. And this one. Mode so let this takes a couple seconds longer. I timed it from reload to mode select reload. So not too bad. <coughs> I'm gonna wait for the next wave to come in just because. You know, I had one of those things and I tried to use it, it wouldn't let me use it. When are we going to be able to use these? I had a forged passport. No, the one forged passport I did in the expedition, I used it, it did work. I like to have these wings a little shorter, but I like this ship. This is nice. I love these two little deflectors up front. Oh shit, it went bigger in the middle. I do like this, the medium sized ones better. 
the round ones they're full they're fat in the middle there yeah these are okay I just got this ship because it was the biggest ship I could find at the time I'm testing my microphone today I done a modified it one that's I don't like that nose I like the other nose is better You never know when an exotic is going to come up on you. There's three, one more. It's a shuttle. Oh, is it a shuttle? No, it's a fighter. It's, it's one of those fighters. Okay, what is it? It's small. Okay, I'm out of here. Next planet, please. So the next planet. Hmm, what kind of what's it? What color are these solar cells? They they look yellow. They're yellow. So the ship is green. Solar cells are yellow or white, whatever you want to call that. So I went to that planet twice already. Okay. The next planet is the furthest planet. So I got to go around the corner. I always do the furthest planets away because that's a oh I know what kind of planet that is so I can see land yeah so I want to go north so I start at the bottom and I want to hit the land because I'm gonna work work my way up if I have to and planet is this hmm this the cactus flesh and if there's huge mountains it sucks trying to fly over and around the big old huge mountains so if you stick close to the to the coast where the water is it gets flatter out there so I usually cruise that way cruise the coastline I'm gonna turn here in just a minute and uh, see if sometimes you get close to the planet and then more land appears or less land appears looks like this one's staying pretty pretty stout so I'm gonna hit this coast right here I'm gonna start right on that peninsula and work my way up the coast. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, let's see. Looks like pretty flat though. Okay, clouds, get out of my way. Wait for the clouds. Okay, that way is north. So I'm going to do my south scan. I don't see anything. There's my shadow. My shadow. Me and my shadow. Okay, this place looks pretty flat. It's not going to be a lot of carbon. Is it going to be carbon? Let's see. Oh, maybe this is a good carbon planet. I scanned that so now I have something scanned, yeah? So I should have things just pop up on me. Okay. Let's go this way. Remember, slow down. Scan, go forward, stop for a second. Wait for things to to come into view. Like, looks like something over here, because... And look up at your, the kind. Your heads up display, because if you see yellow... There we go. And that one came up on its own. Right on the coast. Drop pod, thank you very little. So now I have to scan something before I leave. If I'm not too close to this drop pod, I can scan it. Mm. 
Used to need antimatter for these buggers, but not anymore. Once I get one more, I can connect these two in. That's fine. This S class is one of the best ones you can get at the beginning because it's ten percent. It's only five percent. Viking dagger, come on. Viking dagger. Okay, that's fine. I only take fifteen of the oh I already got twenty. Oh well. That's okay. Might use three pretty soon. Save. Jump up here. See if I find a diamond. There's a nowhere to get clams. There's a lot of animals over here. A lot of birds. They're all birds, huh? I don't care. I'm not scanning them. I don't even care what's in the cave. No, this planet, the the carbon, oh, shoot, ah, dang it, oh well, the carbon is not, uh, I'm going to try the other dusty planet, let's see if they got, because some of these dusty planets have some really killer carbon sources, but I know this one doesn't. These rocks, I love these rocks, they look like faces. In a certain direction, you go over, they look like faces. Uh, some of these. Huh. I like those trees right there, too. Remind me of the Mojave Desert. So I'm on the... Something hit. I'll go back and try it again. I'm taking a coast. I can see the coastline now. I want to get more inland because this not a lot of stuff right out there. I'm gonna scan, it, scan it. Ah, oh, come on, scan already. Just a shelter, so I don't care about that. <coughs> go back and forth because man I tell you what you will fly over a lot of stuff definitely checking this out and this is one fun thing I like to do is I come right up to them bend them over and then oh if you can get out of here come over this way and then he bends oh come here bugger don't walk through my ship I'm telling you right now do not walk through my ship I go straight for the gun <laughs> and it's a piece of junk then I read the access logs Voice of the hive. Routine protocol experiment. I don't know if you get anything for doing these, but I do them. And if I shut down Sentinel forces, I want to see. Come here, dude. What are you doing? Get away from my ship. If you don't come over here, I'm going to kill you. Okay, I'll show you guys something. Where is, it doesn't matter. Shut down Sentinel Force. He's gone. If I need, if I needed that, this thing, I don't take it anymore. I don't need it. I don't, you can't use it for anything. These guys here, you can bang these. Boom, 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 boom. Or shoot him. I 
And like I lost where that other sentinel was, yeah. Now if you look around, so I got that mark, good. If you look around, as long as you don't reload now, this whole, there he is right there, this whole planet, every sentinel you fly over is gonna die. And you can pick up the glass without even getting out of your ship, and I'll show you how. This is the shit now. I don't see any diamonds. Mm, I'm gonna put. I'm just gonna put this glass in my ship, and this too. And I'll fix this. I don't even want this. Don't need it. Okay, so I'm put this over here. I'm gonna put this over here, and I'm just gonna leave my glass right there because I'm gonna collect a bunch of glass. Okay, so as long as I don't reload, um, good. I'm gonna collect me a bunch of glass, kill a bunch of sentinels, and you can't go fast. There's a building right over yonder. If you find the right area like this right here, this is perfect. So you see, all, they all just died. And see the glass right there? You just pick it up with your ship. Because any sent the sentinels won't even come out now, even if you want to take whatever you want to take. I'm going to stop here anyway because I want to get another. I want to get me one of the hardest things to make and one of the things you need the most is the um, um, is this right, a microprocessor. So I want to get that at least. So if I'm going to pick those up, I'll put that down there. <clears throat> and like now no sentinels so free run on these you don't have to worry about nothing get this first because I hate hearing it uh, pick up metal debris so learn new recipe oh you know what I gotta get my third pass if I find a diamond glyph, I'm gonna go to another planet, another star system, and um, pick up some uh, some emerald. And I can pick up emerald on the planet, on this planet too. All you gotta do is uh, buried cash, get indium. What's that bird doing? Indium, emerald, cadmium. And if I had the time to show you, I would show you that you can turn that into anything you want just by reloading. I'm gonna go inland now. What is that? Oh, okay. See, it hasn't dropped yet. There it goes. Just gotta let this, let things render. Can't go fast. You know what? My thing still. Nope. Yeah, it is. There it is. So I still got my thing over there. What's in this hole? Big ol' ass cave. So anyway, what I was going to show you, if you go back over there, now, wherever it was, you can mark them, like mark a spot. See, I just killed them all again, wherever it is. Where is it at? And I can pick up the glass again. Where is it at? Mm -hmm. And so, oh, there it is. See, look, they all died again. I just pick up the glass. Then I can fly over here. See if anything's over here. Where's that? Then fly back. If I remember where it was. <laughs> uh, what 
One over here, was it? There it isn't. There it is. See, they all died again. So I can just keep coming back and forth, getting this. The other one uh, dropped through the ground. I don't see it. It's gone. So anyway, this is 24, 24.98. So what I can do. I can just mark it with uh, with this. And then fly away. Fly away, come out here and search. I'm gonna search around here anyway. If I can find anything else. What's that? Be surprised what you can find just in this area. That's nothing. I'm gonna mark it though. And fly back over here. I had like two or three, I had like three of them set up one time like this and I would just fly to one to the other, come back and just, they just die. See, you got me some more glass, fly away. I'm gonna go this side now. You just fly around the planet and I right hear what's this? Nothing. What's that? See that came up on its own. I didn't even remember I marked that one. I didn't mark that. It's already marked. A lot of oxycontinental around here. Oh here we go. So this one is I just did this one, yeah. So get the glass. And now I have this marked. If I just fly over to this one, and 24.97, fly over to this one, it's between south and north, then these guys will die. Pick up this glass, and then just fly back to the other one. It's right on the coast, so I know it's probably gonna be easy to find. Is that another one? Or no, is that the one? That's the one I had, that's the one I did already, yeah. See, look, these guys are gonna die too. Take that one. Then these guys are gonna die. Take these. By the time I, I can do this, you know. So, oops. Oh, then just fly back to my other kind. What's that? Oh no, I looked at that already. So I fly back to Marrakein. And then you get really good at knowing exactly where you're gonna fly after about 20 times. So kill that one, kill that one. Fly back over here. Gonna see my other thing. Should have just went straight. Should mark that one. What's this? There's a place I haven't been. Is this dogs? No, this ain't dogs. I gotta go way back over here. I missed that one. These guys will die. Just pick these up. Going right at my ship. <coughs> oh, there it is. These guys will die. Pick these up. I don't want that other one. You can get, like, you can get all these, all those ones. I don't want that. Come back over here, shoot at this ship. They don't go down. They don't care. Shoot at those, they care. <laughs> These guys will die in the exact same spot every single time. Just collect your glass. 
come back over here. Back over here. Try it over here. So you get better at knowing where everything's at. So I just pick up one here. Those other ones I pick up two, yeah. So you come back over here. These guys are gonna die and pick that up. If I could shoot straight. Ooh, this ship is wide. Go back over to the cane. So, okay. These guys gonna die. Pick up your glass. Pick up your glass. Go back over here. Pick up one glass here. One glass. Go back over here. I'm gonna go a little higher on this one. These bug is gonna die. I have a hard time shooting that one, huh? Okay, come back over here. Do a circle. Do a circle. And every time they die, you're getting points for killing sentinels. See there? So now I'm dangerous. I've only been doing it for about five, ten minutes, and I'm already a dangerous criminal. Here, dangerous, uh, the kind. I'm gonna pick up this one. Pick up my glass. Come over here. Pick up my glass. Come back 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 over here. So let's see how much glass I've got. So I've got, you know, plenty of glass. And I'm getting some of these too. I'm gonna save this one. Um, so yeah, so you're looking at, you know, five, 10, 15, I got 20 glass already. Just in the short amount of time I've been doing this. I'm gonna do it a couple, I'll get five more and then I'm done. We make a lot of money doing this. These buggers are like 500 bucks a piece if you get the modules. So yeah, and this will happen. I mean, I can fly to the space station as long as I don't reload and come back or go to another, I mean, gotta come back to this place. It's gotta work on this planet. It won't work on any other planet. I'm gonna stop here. I want to get that other so I got two I'll go stop here because I want to get one more I want to get my microprocessor get my microprocessor yeah yeah Increase electrical flow. Our new recipe. So you can get these too, yeah. Those I don't care about. I mean, you won't even be able to make them until you're 50, 60 hours into the game, but I want my microprocessor. Everything else I can pretty much buy, yeah. But my, my microprocessor, um, I'm gonna need that for a kind bro. Let's see any diamonds around. 
diamond in the rough. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, diamond in the rough. I can't, don't see any diamonds. Oh well. Let's see if I can get me some anti to the matter. I still haven't found the exotic here yet. Oh, one of those. Give me a Viking dagger. Yes, please. Viking dagger. Uh, microprocessor. Didn't really need that. Got too many as it is. And if you take off when you did your your manual save, I've come back. Like something will happen, and uh, and my ship will be flying away, and I'll be down. But I just call my ship in again, so it's not a big deal. So I need three more glass, then I'm done. Then I'm going back to space station. I'm done with this. So let's see. Okay, let's see how much I got. Need two more glass. So I'll do it one more time. One more IMT. If I got one here. I might get some extra. Well, shoot straight, Bart. Jeez Louise. Dropping light. And I've already got maxed out my sentinel thing, so I'm done. Let's see if I got all my glass. Yep, I got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 glass. And some other kind. I don't care. I'm done. No, wait a second. I gotta find minor settlement. That's right. I never checked the gun here yet. Okay, I'm going north. And then when I'm flying, I'll probably kill a bunch more sentinels, so. There'll be a bunch more sentinels out here. Oh, I got, I got one marked already. I'm gonna mark that one anyway. Every about four or five scans, I mark something new, yeah. I won't mark this one. I don't care about this. The only thing I want to do here, look for a diamond because I haven't found one yet. And I can go inside because now I have the past two. Because I collected cadmium from, you know, all your stuff. I ain't going over there. Screw it. They usually don't have anything real great. Oh, shoot. One thing I want to check. I need some anti to the matter. I want to put that in my ship, my scanner, upgrade scanner. There it is, see? I would have missed that. I'll put it right here. So now my ship can be detected further away now, so that's nice. Give me a Viking dagger. Viking dagger. Nope, I got two of those now. Damn it. Oh, I got one up here. Okay. I'm good. No diamonds. I'm just going to leave that there. When I get up to the space station, I'll open all that glass. North and on. North. To Alaska, we're going on. I'm just going to stop here too, real fast. I'm gonna check for a diamond. What's that? Organicals. Organical rockles. And I wanna get this just because there might be another movement module or an S class um, life support. No can do. I don't even care about that. Let me check for diamond over here. Any diamonds? And if I see an unknown building, I'll mark that too. No, no diamonds. Hmm. 
Where are these guys going now? They're gonna they're heading straight for the kind. So I need to go over there. I gotta find a minor settlement first. Oh, you know what? I should have hit that damn shoot, that one I scanned. What were they doing? That one tower, I should have scanned it. Uh oh. When it hits like that, the thing's real close, whatever it is. Let me check over this mountain. Let me go back. Try it again. Well, I don't see it now. There's nothing there. I was right here when it hit. Nada. Nothingness. You can see, uh, you can see gliss from the air too. I found them just flying around. I don't look at my HUD as much. Oh, here we go. This is the one I'm talking about. You never park on the tarmac. You always park, especially in a Viking system. Just park it right here. This way, so when you get out, you're on, still on top. And then you're already on top, especially if you're beginning in the game. And then five can land, so. See, I like that one right there, but I don't like that cab. Oh, that's the ship I like, too. Damage control. Now, what I'm going to do. What is that one? Um, I can get to my ship anywhere now. Now, park your ship on top here. Even in uh, Corvax or... Or um, uh, the little guys. You can. I sometimes I'll park my ship right there. Then when you get out, you're already on the tarmac. So that works when you reload. So I'm just gonna go check. Let's see. Is there anything over there? Let me do a scan for a diamond. See, I never even been over to that that building yet. That thing just came up on its own. Let me see. No diamonds. So what I'm gonna do? Let's go down here and see if I can get me some more antimatter. I can. I'm gonna get me a Viking dagger when I'm here too. These don't do anything. And if you're in that mode where Artemis gives you coordinates for a star system, you come to the to the uh, to this place. What is it? It's called the trading post. You come to the trading post, and uh, and the guy says, "Oh no, you need to level up. All you gotta do is go to wait till a ship lands over here." And then go to the ship. Let me see, is there any ships up here? Yeah, not anymore. Go to the ship. Trading post is a great place to get Viking daggers. And you need a Viking Only in Viking systems do you need a Viking dagger for the monolith to find a portal. The other ones you can use the, the Gek Relic or the Corvax casing, yeah. So you just go down here to this guy and you buy just one or two is all you need. So they always have them. So I want Viking Dagger right now. I only want, I only want five. And then like these three, you just buy them. And then you could raise your level just by giving them away. And then you, so you don't have to fly off or nothing. You just do it here. This guy is usually... Oh, let's see. I think you're full of baloney. You always, you always do the top one first before you give. Don't give right away. So you always do request dialect first before you give anything. 
And then, like, I can give this guy all of them if I want. Mr. Purpleoid. Hey, Mr. Purpleoid. Request dialect help. I need, like, aggression. As long as it got Viking, I'll keep doing that. There's those dumb ships again, dumb fri frigates that don't do anything. Okay, there's four, five. Don't go to that guy. Because this guy wants you to hire him. And you just got to decline him. Oh, no. One of these guys wants you to hire him. Give him a Gek Relic. I mean, Viking Effigy. Not a Gek Relic. What's this guy doing? Pink and green? Cool, dude. Was that white? Viking. I can get my Gek Relic. Okay, how many more do I have? This going in my starship. That's getting the kind. This going in my starship. Let's see. Starship. I got three more. Exosuit. This going in my exosuit. No, it ain't. Okay, I got my daggers. These buggers. I have three more left. One of these guys. Let's try Mr. Yellow. Interloper? Who are you calling an interloper? Oh, Viking. Interloper. Did I do this guy? Yeah. They all. None of these guys wanted me to hire him. Wait a second. No? Nope. Oh, there's only four. Okay. So then, see, I just raised my level. So I learned five words. And should have raised my level too. Learned eight words. Huh. Well, it will raise your level because my level's pretty high right now because I've already worked on it. Let me go back to Mr. Purple. If you stand this way, you can see all the ships coming in. So I have three more. One. Two and a three licks to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop. Now let's see if I raise my level. Oh, let's see what they have for sale. Let me see my level raises first. And I'll stand right here. You can stand right here. Yep, see? I'm now level six now. So, easy way to get it. And you can fly up here no matter what, just stay on this wall. Is that over there? Nothing. Okay, oh, I'm gonna see what they have for sale. I like this ship right here. It's a nice ship. Hey, this one doesn't have the pink on it. This one's just blue. Has a square engine though. I like the other engines better. But I like it all blue better than with some pink. There's the pink one. It's got the cooler engines, the square engines on the out. Oh, it does a square engine too, in the back. I'd probably pick this one. Cause it's all blue, no pink on them. It has pink and green on it. These are nice ships. I had one of these I flew all over. It was nice. Like that. Like those kind ships. What do they have for sale? No. So I got me some puggy. I got plenty of puggy. I'll go. I'll go open those later. I don't need them right now. I don't have the room for them. If I want to put stuff in. Okay. Come on, exotic. I'm gonna come. I can always come back over here. To one of these. I gotta go. My first thing would be to do, if I was here, I'm gonna do it anyway, I don't care. I don't care about the gun. It's safe. 
So what I do is I save. Um, let's keep that in there. So upgrade that. I have one left. Let your hazard protection go up. I usually like to make sure my starship's all charged up. Charge all that up. Make sure this is all charged up. We'll charge everything up. Okay, I'm, I'm good. So when I get out, we'll come over here. What wave is this? I'm gonna reload here. Reload time. Reload. And I'll show you if my, and by the way, people, you do not have to go to a specific trading post to get an exotic. If the exotic is here, you can go to almost any trading post within this, these, this star system and, um, and find the exotic. So if the exotic is here, I will find it here after about 10 to 15 reloads. I always count the ships. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's a short one, yeah? So I might wait till they all land. Only five can land. But they come seven, eight, nine. So reload. Sometimes I don't even wait for them to land. Because I wanna, I wanna get that reload in ASAP. And I figured it out, it usually takes one minute to reload so you can look at five new ships within one minute and reload again and if you hear um, uh, camel protection it's time to reload where's the worm oh there's no worm on this planet huh if there was a worm he'd be coming out right now one two three four five six seven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On sevens, I wait for them to land. Four, five, okay, I'm done. Reload. And then after sometimes 20, 25, maybe even 30 times, um, your gun will go blank. Then you just uh, um, restart the game, and it'll, when you come back, you have 25 to 30 more times to reload. But I've reloaded using my mode select three or four times already. And I thought those birds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a seven. All that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, huh? You should get at least eight or nine. Is there any diamonds around here? Okay, so about right about in here. Oh, you know what? There's no hazard here because it's daytime. On these planets, you won't have any hazard protection <coughs> during the day because it's warm. But at nighttime, boy, that ship looks cool. But at nighttime, it'll uh, get cold. And so then your hazard protection will go off. So I want to find a finer settlement. I'm reloading anyway before the first one takes off. And some planets just don't have an exotic. I just, you know, I've gotten planets before and I'm like, okay, I want to check out the exotic, prosperous, affluent, all those. But um, no matter what I did, I couldn't find the exotic. And I saved the planet, went away for about a month, come back to the planet, and boom, there's the exotic. One, two, three. Now, these are coming in different. Four, five, six, still only seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh, that's so weird. You should get an eight or nine by now. There goes my hazard protection. Here she comes. 
because it's nighttime now. Camel protection falling. Camel protection falling. Yeah. That's what it sounds like to me, she's saying. Not thermal protection. She sounds like she's saying camel protection. <laughs> uh, love it. Yeah, that glass, you can just keep doing that all day long. I've already reset it now, so it's not going to happen anymore. But Easy way to get glass. And then the real easy way is just to go somewhere with a save beacon and just start bussing out some, some animals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, three, seven, eight. There's my eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's a nine. There's a nine. Where'd that other one go? Okay, I see it. Okay. Okay, we're working, working now. Four. Where's my fifth one? Oh, there it is. What is that one? C node. So when you know you have to reset your game, reload the game is when you're multi-tool all the the stats go blank that might happen here pretty soon because i've uh, i've reloaded quite a few times still all there but they will go blank <coughs> you'll still be able to see everything you won't be able to know what what's in the ship one two three four five Six, seven, eight. None of them are exotic, right? No exotics. So time for reload. I'm not having a real good feeling about this place because usually I would have already found the exotic by now. Nothing over there, huh? Sometimes it takes a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, four, five, six. There's another seven. Huh, usually it's eight or nine, not seven. But I'm gonna reload because all coming down already. Yeah, whatever you do, don't land on the tarmac, you know, in one of the landing spots. You land on the ground. I'll show you on the ground. It's, it's pretty simple. You just come over here. Even with a big ship, I just go right here. And I'll put my ship right here. So I got one coming in. That one's going to come in. One, two, three, four, five. Now what I want to do is just fix this. So I'm full. Step out. Oh, see, it took me right up here anyway. Options, reload, auto save. I've done this with all kinds of ships too. Especially like at some of the Corvax and the Get places it's hard to land on top so I'll just put it there then I can always fly up here if I want by the time I get up here they're all coming one two three four five six seven this isn't looking good not good at all now since that ambulatory came up I gotta go back to my ship and go inside so I can save that Otherwise, it'll come up every time I reload. 
fix your life support. And a reload. I don't know, guys. I don't know if there's an exotic here or not. And then I've loaded, load, un, reloaded down here so many times. And I go to space station, it shows up space station. So you just never know. But it doesn't matter which trading post you're at. I know that for a fact. So I've gotten them at all different trading posts. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's only seven. I want to get the eight or nine coming. I want to get the nine coming. What's up with that, man? And I haven't seen the solar ship yet either. Or did the solar ship come in once? You start seeing the solar ship. That's a good sign. But this is the best place to get the exotics. These trading posts. Then you get, you don't have to go all the way to the top. I just come down here. Stand right here. Gonna reload anyway. Mm-hmm. People. I can see them coming in. One, two. Three, four, five, that's it. Once you see five coming in, even if there is an exotic, you still can't land. You want the bug off for land. And then like right now, the next one I'm gonna do, cause I was at a, at a place when I first started playing and I was trying to get this blue guppy this guy had online. And I reloaded and I reloaded and my screen went blank and I reloaded some more, never came. So what I did was I went into mode select and reloaded and then the bugger showed up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, four. Okay, so now that's what I'm gonna do. Oh go over here go to there and reload from here see if it comes Okay, I'm gonna stand out here. It gives me a better view of the sky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seriously, even after this little uh, of time, I should have seen either the solar ship or an exotic. Now I'm going to reload again. Time it is. I gotta go to sleep. This seems like a good spot right here. The hollers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven of them buggers. None of them are exotic, so time for a reload. Yeah, I've even tried to go to other planets and the same thing, you know, you nothing comes. So that's when I say, you know what? I delete that game. 
<laughs> Start a new one, even though this is prosperous. And um, promising places. Oh my God, I found a lot of a lot of exotics at promising. All three: Gek, Corvax, and Viking. One, two, three. Because it should have it should have uh, depleted the. There's uh, only a certain amount of ships that are in this system. They should have depleted all those by now, and that that uh, exotic should have came out. Three, four, five. So I'm probably wasting my time here, but I'm gonna try them some more, see if it shows up. This is usually how I find all my exotics. And sometimes you just come in a space station. There's a solar ship. That's a good sign. So maybe next time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, there's eight, nine. There's nine in this one. Hey, this is a different solar ship. Whole body. I got a way different solar ship here. It looks blue. I'm gonna buy them. Even if it's C, I'm gonna buy them. What color is this bugger? Make an offer. It's blue. Oh, she get price. I'm gonna buy it. It's only a B, but I'm buying it. So after I buy something like this, I just like get in it, sit down. So we saw the green solar ship, yeah? I'm gonna get in this bugger. Come down here and I'm gonna reload. Because this is promising right here, man. Blue solar ship. I don't know what. I didn't look to see what color the cells were. But it's blue and it's a nice style. So I'm show that bugger off. And then the green one. Green one is just, just what it is. It's a green one. With big fat things on it. That you can't see over. I'm not prejudiced. <laughs> I think everything should have a shot. What do we got here? What do we got here? Yeah, yeah. Okie dokie, smoky. So there's two solar ships here. That's interesting. P33, my screen still hasn't gone blank yet. So I'm going to reload some art. Yep. Just keep reloading until I get what I want. Mmm, it doesn't taste very good. Time for a new Che anyway. Oh, no, but uh, it's like a good spot to sit, to stand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nice. Okay, well, no, I want eight or nine. Four, five, six, seven. Only seven. All coming in, reload. Yeah, I wasn't sure that solar ship. I was just going to say earlier that I've seen more than one different type come into the same system. Of course, when you're in a, in an outlaw system, you know, you get four different blue ones, four different green ones, four different red ones, four different, you know, just they're all solar ships, pretty much. I'll never forget the first solar ship I ever saw was just when it dropped, because I'm off on Wednesdays, so I usually play all day on Wednesdays. As a Wednesday, it was a new uh, download and the planet I went to had didn't even had like one or two other players. That was it. 
and uh, I went in the space station and I saw a white one in there and I was like what the hell is this and I was like oh so I bought the bugger and uh, then I found out that they had these nice blue ones so I went and bought those and then I experimented with them I hope this new download I want to be able to at least change colors on ships I think that should be an option at the ship uh, dismantling section I think you should be able to color your ship there and your gun too I want to be able to color the gun like still keep everything original on the gun the the crystals all that even the crystal colors just change the color of the gun that would be cool. Yeah, not seeing him. What is that bug? A37, that's what I started with before. That's what I have. So, negatory. That's all of them. And then sometimes I get sleepy. I'll leave my headset on. And I do this like at the space station and I'll fall asleep. And as soon as the exotic comes in, I wake up. I used to do that a lot. I used to do it back in the day when you could go in picture mode and had sound so I could hear the ships in picture mode. And uh, I'd fall asleep in picture mode because I could see all the ships. Because it's nice in picture mode, you can still see the ships moving. So you come way up here, I used to sit right here, and I could hear them. And then I would just wait, I could hear them coming. And, you know, you could you could hear the exotic land. You hear the boom boom. Not anymore. I wonder if I can see myself on the tarmac if I go into picture mode. Uh oh, I'm in a bad spot. Yep, there I am. Oop, storm. Storm coming. Oh, that's a completely different one. Really? They have three different? What the heck? I'll go buy that one too if it lands. Come on, baby. Ah, that one right there. That's a totally different one. Oh, man. They got three different solar ships here. Three different ones. Man, wish the exotic would come. Three different ones, baby. I got jet. Oh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna stand back over here where I was because I read somewhere, depending on where you're at, where you're standing, different things happen. So I don't know how much truth there is to that, but. I want to see that other solar ship. It was my favorite one. It's got the round nose and the cool looking tail. Oh my goodness. Why is there a storm when I'm in picture mode? That's weird. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. That, that, was, a, that was a different one. Come on, baby. Bring that other solar ship in. Yeah, bring that other solar ship in. Da, da, da. Mantra. Nam yo ho renge kyo. Nam yo ho renge kyo. Okie dokie, smokey. Let's check this Chucka Rudy out. Nah, screw it. I'm going to come back over here. I want the exotic to come. There's four, five, six, seven. That's it. One, two, three. 
three, four, five. When you see five coming in, it's time to reload. I don't know if I'll put this video out or not. I was just testing my mic, so I don't even know how it's working. I'll put a new filter on it so that when I'm talking, it doesn't go. Look at there. What do we got? What do we got? Three of those buggers, huh? What are they? That one's coming in. Oh, that one's coming in. The other one coming in, too? I would laugh if that one's coming in. Oh, you bugger. B-35, what's this one, B-33, what's that one, C-node, reload auto set, I'm gonna, next time I'm gonna do a, um, a different reload, the one, mode select reload, That's a cool ship. Four, five, six, seven. I don't like these sevens. I like the eight or nines. Jeez, give me eight or nines. Some places I go to is like eight or nine every time. No sevens. This has got a bunch of sevens and occasional eight. I seen one nine. But I want to see that other exotic, that other solo ship again. Wish it would have landed. I've done this before, and I'll see the exotic and won't land. I'll do that two or three times that won't land. I hate that. That's when I started parking off the tarmac, so I can get five to land. There's four, five, six, seven. There's another seven for you. I ain't waiting. Oh, I was going to do the mode select reload. And if your screen goes blank, the mode select reload won't, won't fix it. You would think it would, but it won't. The blank? Nope. I still got a screen. Three, four, five. Is that it? No, that's the green one. No, oh, that's the blue one. There's three different ones here. It's coming in too. I'm gonna go check it out. This is the blue one, though. Nah, I see. Yeah, this is the blue one. Ah, shoot. Yeah, that's the blue one. Hmm. Since I accidentally brought my ship up here, and then what I like to do too is. I come over here and they're flying in a circle. I don't want to land. I just act like I'm one of them. And I fly in a circle. I can just hold it here if I don't run into any ships. Kind of fun. I'm a little closer, but I'm flying at full speed. Not a bad looking ship there, buddy. I 
always come in the side like this because oh it's gonna go way over here so then I can just hop out <laughs> This is such a big ass ship. I like to have my stuff at full throttle though. I gotta fix this. Put that in, screw it. I don't want that anymore. Oop, where am I going? Okay, time for reload. Oh, I'm gonna do mode select, yeah. Quit a mode select. Reload. <laughs> Come on, exotic. Get your butt over here. I will the exotic to come now. In the name of No Man's Sky and Hello Games, I command the exotic to come now. Or that other solar ship. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Not solar, not exotic. Five, six, seven. Seven, four, five, six, seven. I hate that. I hate that seven. It's a Benoid. It's this one. Cenoid. Okay, time for reload. And then this is when that other solar ship came. When I did this last time. But I wasn't up here. Probably going way too long in this video, but I don't care. I do this all the time. I love it. I love it, dub it, dub it. Yeah, yep, yep. Ooh. Maybe they substituted the exotic for that other solar ship because it's like one in a million, I think. Five, six, seven, seven, and eight, no more. <sighs> Come on, baby, let's go. I think I might buy one of those green ones just because. One, two, three. There it is. I see it. I see it. There it is. And it's coming in and it's going to be mine. <laughs> I have found the exotic. I am man. And it is S1754, and it is, looks like gold, and I'm going to buy it. Oh, thank you very much. What is it? Gold and silver. I'm buying it. Gold and silver. Yeah, baby. I love it, double, love it, double it. Gold and silver, and that's how you find an exotic. I want that other solar ship though, but you know what guys, I'm gonna cut the video here. My next video, I'm gonna 
display these ships that I found for you guys to come and get as soon as I find a portal. But have a great and wonderful day. Aloha.